this is my basketball output window for Sports Code Pro. So obviously the disadvantage of using Sports Code Pro is you don't have toggle buttons, hence none of these buttons here have movie functionality. However, I've tried my best to create this output window where you get as much data as possible, and as well as get some subjective data that you wouldn't get just from an ordinary box score from the scorers table. So I'm using Carolina versus Miami as my example. Now this was a terrible game. There was like, you know, 30 something turnovers. However, all you have to do is change these names down here to match what you put in your code window, as well as the colors. The colors don't have to match what was in the code window, just the names. The colors are purely aesthetic. And those names and colors are going to change all the colors and names on the rest of the window and kind of, you know, through the scripting, set everything up for you. You've then got to add your names to the left here. So I've added um, the Carolina roster. You're going to have to type those out manually using Sports, Co Sports Code Pro. And then you're going to have to put your actions or sets in these um, rows here. So this is where you'd put your pick and roll, your horns, your, you know, sloppy or whatever sort of plays that you run. You're going to insert them into these slots here, just, you know, like so. Now I didn't code for any team actions in this game, so that information is not going to fill out, but I'll walk you through the rest of the window. So up above, up above here we've got the box score. Now on the y-axis we've got the player names as I mentioned. Then across the x-axis we've got all our counting stats. So we've got minutes, field goals, two-point shots, three-point shots, free throws, rebounds, personal foul, turnover block, steal, assist, effective field goal percentage, true shooting percentage, usage rate, plus-minus, and then points. Down there for the teams, we have your ordinary counting stats as well. And then once we get to the end, we've got points per position, two to three point shooting ratio, points from two point shots, points from three point shots, and then just obviously the score. Below that, as I said, you've got the action and play efficiency charts. So for each play, such as pick and roll, you're going to get the efficiency, the shot percentage, and then obviously the points per um, set. So for example, you run 10 pick and rolls, you score two points on five of them, it's just going to put one there, so you scored one point per pick and roll. The lines underneath each one of these boxes is indicating which team it's representing. So obviously on the x-axis it's the players that you've run, and then on the y-axis it's the teams. So greens for Miami, blues for Carolina, as represented by the colors that you've inserted in these two buttons below. Below that we've got the position, position type efficiency chart. So it's going to break down positions by certain categories, such as half-court positions, transition positions, Positions against man defense, positions against zone defense, positions after an opposition made shot, positions after an opposition missed shot, and then positions after turnovers. So for example, these last three are looking at the previous position and then charting what occurred on the following positions. So say for example, Miami goes down the court and misses a shot. This is here is going to show you how well Carolina scored on that following position. So it's basically charting how well you transition from defense to offense then offense to defense when you're looking at the other side of things. To the right here we have shot charts. So we've got the shot location chart, and then we've got the shot type chart. Now because you're using Sports Code Pro, you're just going to have to insert the name manually up above here. So I'm going to type in Carolina. It's got to match exactly what I've put down below here and what I've put in my code window. When I press execute, it's going to fill out with a bunch of numbers and also some colors representing the shot percentage. So I can see, for example, Carolina shot really poorly from the mid-range, but did pretty well in the post, shot really well from the right corner, etc., etc., and the colors represent that. Below that, we've got the shot type chart. We've got catch and shoot three, off the dribble, post up, hook shot, hezzy jumper, floater, drive, cut, breakaway, catch and shoot two, roll man and putback. And again, the percentages show a color representing how well you shot from that particular position. Then you've got points per shot type, so how, how many points did you score per times you shot that shot. The frequency you shot that shot type relative to all the others, and the percentage of points scored from that shot type. So for example, we can see here that Carolina, shot, Carolina scored 36% of their points from catch and shoot threes. 30% of their shots were catch and shoot threes. They scored 1.33 points per catch and shoot three, and they sh they shot 44.4% overall from catch and shoot threes. And then obviously it's the same all the way across the chart. If I want to see what the opposition did, I just have to type in the opposition, press execute, and it's going to give me that same information but for the other team. So if you have any questions about this output window, my email is in the description below. If you want to see the code window that generated this output window, there's a video for that in the output uh, in the description below. And other than that, you can also purchase this output window 
also in the description below. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something and hope you like the output window.